We have a great story here from um, Pat Garofalo of Think Progress. And um, according to past report, it says that American corporations last year made a record $824 billion, um, even though President Obama is a socialist and has imposed these uh, diabolically uh, oppressive restraints on our economy. Uh, meanwhile, um, 30% of American um, workers are unemployed, have been unemployed for more than a year. So despite the massive uh, corporate profits, it has not translated into jobs for Americans. Well, that's what's kind of incredible about the numbers is, is uh, apparently, so the $824 billion in earnings last year is up from the previous records, which was $785 billion in 2006. <laughs> and the difference in how the economy is faring now versus then is incredible that that those profits are even bigger now. And I mean, I guess we're technically in a recovery, but it's a very weak one. And it's, the economy is certainly not going as strong as it was uh, you know, in the lead up to the it's crash. It's the weak recovery that, that uh, a lot of conservatives complain about. They go, oh, well, okay, as, as we said, the jobs numbers from, uh, from last month was just over 100,000. And, um, and Mitt Romney was like, well, yeah, there's growth, but it's just not good enough. We need a half a million a, a month. I mean, it, it almost it, never happens. Yeah, and it, is, it doesn't make sense to, to, to keep trying to, I guess, work legislation or just do everything in fear of what they're going to say about you because they're going to say it about you. So here's a Despite message the to the American people. Okay, this is, a, this is a point that Governor Jennifer Granholm has been pushing for quite some time, and it's this. Uh, the Republicans constantly cry. They cry, cry, cry about taxes and taxes and how we must lower taxes for corporations and for the top 1% so that it creates jobs. They never ever state where those jobs are created. They're not created here in the US. So these corporations, keep in mind, they are, even if they're American corporations, they are multinational corporations with places, uh, with their um, uh, place of business located throughout the globe. Mm -hmm. And their profits go up, their revenues go up, their executive compensation goes way, way up. It does not mean that Americans in America get jobs. Those two things are a total disconnect. And to basically uh, change our tax policy to further benefit these corporations on the assumption that somehow it trickles down to the rest of us here is an absolute fallacy that has to be shaken uh, um, you know, out of everyone's brains. I mean, that's just not what happened. That's just not what happened. It gets well, mentioned, but it doesn't get repeated as many times. So it doesn't permeate. It doesn't stick with everyone's head. They hear over and over again, tax breaks, more jobs, tax breaks, more jobs, tax breaks, more jobs. What they don't hear, tax breaks, tax breaks, tax breaks, less jobs, unemployment, rich, richer, and hoarding money. Well, and I think that if, if you actually explain it in a very straightforward sense, it doesn't make any, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, you know, it's a it's like pushing on a string or something. You, you are giving a company uh, more money and hoping that they will then just randomly decide to hire people. The only reason a company is gonna hire people is if there's demand for whatever they're making. Right. But if, there's, if the demand is still weak, you can give them tax break after tax break. They can be sitting on mountains of cash, which they are, and it's, there's no reason to invest if you don't think that you're going to get a return on that. You don't invest just so you can hire people out of the kindness of your heart. But that is, almost seems to be the argument. That's uh, Actually, you bring up an excellent point. Uh, corporations are right now awash in cash. They have so much cash. They have more cash than they've ever had before. So what they're doing with all this cash is not hiring more people. They're just buying back their own corporate shares so they can have even more cash. <laughs> Um, and, and, and Governor Granholm makes a great point. You know, the tax breaks should be based on job creation, not uh, hoping for job creation by giving away tax benefits. Well, or do, we just shouldn't use tax breaks as, uh, as incentives in, in the economy. If we want, say, you know, uh, if we want to see more green jobs created, well, we shouldn't give tax credits to green energy companies. We should spend a bunch of money buying, you know, yeah. uh, uh, solar panels or windmills or something, and a kicking ourselves off of uh, off of dirtier fuels. But b, you're stimulating that that industry in a much more direct sense because you're providing demand for their it's, for it's their, how things uh, become what they make. It's how things become that amazing and efficient. I mean, I, this example that I always like to that always is in my own head is. Um, at USC football games or at any big sporting event, and then the flyover happens of these jets. And one time it was a stealth, well, I think it was the stealth 
plane, that black one that's just silent, mm -hmm. and it flew over, and everybody at one point was like, it's amazing how we create that type of stuff. How do we create that? Because we throw billions of dollars into it, trillions of dollars into this stuff. Because, and then it, it ends up becoming the most amazing thing. Ama imagine how amazing green energy or any other kind of alternative energy would be if tons and tons of money was thrown at it to create it. I mean, if somebody's working on it and you have time and money and it's your salary and it's your job, you're gonna do it. We have people that are smart, obviously. We create things like that.